So I've been working on the engine for the Low Buck C10, and uh, I just wanted to show off a, a tool I thought was really handy. I bought it many years ago. I've, I've built several engines, and the more I mess with stuff, the more I'm buying special engine tools. Um, it's, a, it's a harmonic balancer installer made by Moroso, and uh, it's the best. I think it was like $60 I spent on the tool. Um, <clears throat> I've worked on several Chevrolets. It works on 2.8 V6s to small blocks. It, it works on just about anything I, I keep around. Um, I was gonna show you how to use it and tell you what I thought about it's it. It's a pretty simple tool. It's got the 7 16 fine thread on the end, threads in the end of the crankshaft down in here. Um, then it's got this burn and a washer to protect the burn. And then it's got a big nut to press the harmonic balancer on. I've, I've done this other ways. I've done this with a hammer and a block of wood, but I really, I, I can't believe that's really good for your thrust burns. So that's why I kind of went ahead and invested in a tool like this. Um, I won't say it was about $60, but it was money well spent. Um, we're going to show you how to use it. It's pretty simple. It three, all you got to do is get started in the end of the crankshaft and run it all the way down. Now, I'm really a big fan of any kind of pressing tool. I like to use some light oil, 10W30 or 30 weight on the threads just to help keep everything from binding and golden. Now all you have to do, please excuse my very vintage wrench. It's the only thing I can find that would fit it. But now all you do is run the nut all the way down. My big adjustable wrench is misplaced right now. And this tool does not work very good. Probably worked good when it was new, but it don't work good. It's good now, it's a little worn. So I'll find another wrench. I think it'll do a little better. It fits that nut pretty good. It is well, this is a special wrench. This is a John Deere wrench, so it don't, it don't have the size on it. But if you watch carefully, it slowly presses on the harmonic balancer. No violence, no damage to any of the thrust, to the thrust burns or anything like that. the end of the video I've got a picture of the part number I'm going to post and that way y'all will know where you can order yours This is actually a Napa harmonic balancer. I bought several of their balancers for the last few engines I've built. I was originally gonna put a speedy sleeve on the factory balancer, but uh, it was severely worn. The rubber was hard and pushing out, so I decided it was it was worth the money to go ahead and order a order a new balancer. No more than it cost. It's 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 going to be worth it. Um, I don't think the engine was painted last time I shoot it off. It's about half painted. I ain't got the oil pan on it yet. I had to had to order a different oil pan, and I ain't crazy what what, what the way the valve cover looked. I didn't quite clean them as good as I thought I should, and they look kind of crappy. So I ordered new valve covers and new oil pan. Um, 
I've got a Wyan Street Warrior intake. I've used this on several engines I've built. Um, the 305 and my 79 Chevrolet. Uh, you know, it's it's a good it's it's a good intake manifold. I haven't had any problem with them. They're cast in China, but they're machined in the USA. The only downside is they're like 10 cents cheaper than Edelbrock performer so if you know it's not really you're not saving anything but but i i, I kind of like off-brand stuff i like the wines i've always ran a wine and take my phone but it's all painted up and, and we've got some other little odds and ends ordered for it so it's gonna be a it should be together in the next week or two um i'll talk some more about it when i put everything when i get some more put together um be sure to like and subscribe thank you bye